Welcome to today's class. Today we have 8 to the power of 2 minus b to the power of 2 equal to 19. Here we are asked to look for a pair of solutions or roots that will satisfy this equation. So if you're new here, this is all I must TV. Subscribe. So let's go into today's challenge here. So here we take our solution. Okay. Now, if you look at the left hand side of the equation, we got um, a spot out, a special algebraic identity. It says that if you have your, your x to the power of 2 minus y to the power of 2, this is automatically equal to bracket x plus y with bracket bracket x minus y. This is what we call the difference of two squares. And I believe we are used to this algebraic identity. So, with this difference of two square in mind, let's rewrite the left hand side of our question. So this could be written as our a here, then plus our b, bracket, bracket, a, minus our b, everything equal to 19. Because we are having a product on this side of the equation. So let's bring out all the factors of 19. And we all know that the factors of 19 will give us here, we have positive um, 1, then we also have positive 19. Then we equally have negative 1, then we equally have negative 19. Okay. So, if we are having these times this, then we're going to take two of these that will result to this. So, automatically, we're going to have the whole of this either equal to 1 times 19, or 19 times 1, or minus 1 times minus 19, or minus 19 times 1. But we must put into consideration some a case scenario here, or a case scenario that will enable us to uh, choose our factors on the right hand side carefully. Here we are having a plus b, and here we are having a minus b. So what does that tell us? This is greater than this. So Let's draw up that first. So we know that A plus our B is greater, okay, greater than our A minus B. So we cannot have a case scenario whereby this we take 1 and this we take 19. It cannot happen. Or this we take minus 1 and this we take minus 19. It cannot happen. Okay, so putting this into consideration, what are the possible case scenarios we're going to have from this system here now? It's easy. So let's take our case one. So we have here case one. Our case one, we're going to have our A plus our B. Automatically, this will be equal to what? Our positive 19 and our A minus our B. Okay, this will be equal to positive 1 using the uh, elimination method here. Yeah. So from here, we want to eliminate our B because we're having plus minus here. So from here, let's add these two equations. If we add this and this will leave. So we're now left with 2A. This will be equal to this will give us 20. So divide both sides by 2, divide by 2. Cancel, 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 cancel. Here we have 10. So let's continue on this side. All right, so from here, we're going to have our A, we'll have our A is equal to 10. Okay, so we can put the value of A into the first equation to get our B here. So from our second equation, we have, sorry, first equation, we have A plus B is equal to 19. Okay, so we have our 10 here plus B equal to 19. So we have B is equal to 19 minus 10, which is equal to 9. So therefore, our B is equal to 9. Okay, so we solve our B to be 9. Now, so this and this go together. Now, we check the next case scenario, which is this, we take minus 1, and this, we take minus 19, because minus 19 is smaller than minus 1, right? 
So we take our this two, this two. Okay. So our case two, we're going to have our A plus our B. This will be equal to minus one. Then our A minus B will now be equal to minus 19. Again, we want to add these two equations together. So adding this, this will leave the system. So when I have 2A, now be equal to minus 20. Again, divide by 2, divide by 2. This, this leaves the system. This will give us minus 10. So we have our A is equal to minus 10. Okay. So if we have this to be minus 10, again, we put the value of A into equation 1. So this will now give us here, here our minus um, 10 here plus our B. This is equal to our minus 1. So move this to this side. So we have our B will now be equal to minus 1 here plus our 9. Sorry, plus our 10. So let's continue here. So if we carry out the operation here, this is going to give us our B. B will now be equal to our positive 9 here. Okay. So we have this, the second case, and this also. So what are the pairs of A and B that will satisfy the original equation? So we're going to have our A comma B now be equal to bracket. The first one we have 10. A comma, what is our B? 9. And the second one, uh, put a comma here. Second one, we have um, minus 10. So we have minus 10, A comma, our uh, positive 9. So if we plug these values into our original equation, we discover that they will satisfy the original equation. Okay, so this brings us to the end of this math class. If you lost something from this video, leave it in the comment section. I'll get to reply to your comment this week. Thanks for being there. See you. Bye for now.